Okay, welcome back to the series of platform game tutorials. What we're going to do in this next tutorial is we're going to get this saw to spin by using the animator. So in order to do that, select the saw, go up to the window, options, and then choose animation. Right, so to begin animating the saw, create an animation clip. So click on create, and what we're going to do is we're going to store everything in our animations folder in our assets within the um, platform game folder so if you haven't already got an animations folder you'll need to create one by clicking on new and then folder we're going to store our animation in the animations folder and we're going to call it rotating saw so click on save now what we're actually going to do is we're going to use this window to record what we want our saw to do. So in order to do that, it's already in record mode. You can see by the by the arrows and the pause button changed to red. What we need to do is we need to move things around using the transform part of the inspector for the saw. So to get things working, it's currently on on position zero in the animation. So what we'll do is we'll just change a value to five. Notice how it's inserted a something called a keyframe in here. So change that back to zero. So that'll give us our start position for the rotating saw blade. Um, our animation is going to last a second. So what we do next is click on the second line, and you'll notice that just here it says six there, so that's fine. So what we want to do now is we want to say what we want it to do within a second. So we're going to make it rotate. 360 degrees so by doing this if we press play now within the animation you'll see that the blade is now spinning now the thing is I want the blade to spin the other way so go back to the one second mark and instead of 360 I'm going to put minus 360 and that should make the blade spin the other way so if we try it now yeah that's much better so that's finished now so being as that's okay we can close it down and you'll notice in your animations folder, you've now got the animation and you've got the controller for the animation as well. So they're both linked to the saw. So if we play the game now, you can see that we've got a rotated saw. It's still not working as a hazard yet, but we're getting there. The next thing we're going to do in um, the next tutorial is we're going to add some health. We're going to add some lives, some hearts. Okay, so thanks for watching.